Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kyger, and welcome back to part two of the PlayStation 2 collection. Um, I'll keep the intro short. Um, I'll try and get a couple of these videos done this week because I'm not sure if come next week I'll be uh, <clears throat> back out of the area with everything going on, um, some family stuff, so um, try and get as many videos done. But I will be streaming again tonight with some more Star Wars um, <clears throat> Jedi Fallen Order, so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, part, and uh, let's get to it, there is some uh, bit of a variety here today, so let's go straight into it. First up we have Frank Herbert's Dune, uh, not an actual um, strategy game like the classic Dune, this is an adventure game. Then we have Largo Winch, Empire Under Threat, another sort of point and click adventure game. Played a tiny bit of it, not really my thing. This is pre um, Telltale's game stuff. Shadow of Memories, made by uh, Konami. I believe this is like a uh, psychological thriller, I guess, slash adventure game. I've heard good things about this one. Konami, a classic with their horror games as well. SOS Final Escape, also known as Disaster Report, I believe, in America. A sort of disaster themed adventure action thriller game. Heard good things about that one. Then we have a couple of adult games. Yeah, the PlayStation had some risque adult games. We have here Seven Sins. Yeah, um, need I say more? We have Playboy the Mansion. This is basically like Sims set in a Playboy mansion. Again, some more. Adult themed games. There actually isn't that many adult physical games uh, other than like the old Atari games and stuff. So finding some of these are actually quite hard to do. Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Laude, Uncut. I played a tiny bit of this one. It's, uh, it's, uh, okay. We've got a couple of pinball games here we have. Play It Pinball. Yeah, and I do love a pinball game here and there. Pinball's classic. Pinball fun. Lots of uh, different tables and things on here. Seems like it's got like an anime theme going on there. Flip Nick. This is actually a pinball game with sort of like an RPG element to it. There's like uh, leveling up and upgrades and missions. I've heard good things about this one. Ubisoft title. And Gottlieber Pinball Classics. Some classic pinball Gottlieber tables there. There's some horse games. We have GI G1 Jockey, made by Koei. Yeah, um, Koei just weren't into hack and slash and JRPGs. They used to make um, some horse racing games. Kind of cool to see uh, Koei expansive work. Linda Green's Equestrian Challenge. Again, if you're into horses, there's some variety for you. And Pippa Fennell's Take the Rain. Some of these horse games are actually getting quite um, rare and expensive now. Maybe not the ones on PS2, but some of the ones on like Wii and stuff are getting up there. A couple of party games here. We have Kuri Kuri Mix, made by From Software. This is kind of a cool game because um, one player uses one side of the controller and the other player uses the other side of the controller. So you could actually have uh, quite a few people playing this one, but it's kind of a weird one. Rayman Raven Rabbids, the original. Again, uh, Raven Rabbids uh, became a really a, it's a thing of its own and got rid of the whole Rayman thing, I guess. <laughs> then we have uh, Fruit Machine Mania. All you slot maniacs out there. And then we have Poker Masters. I'm not really a big fan of poker, but um, there are plenty of card and casino games on the PlayStation 2. Then we have Boxing Champions. Another boxing game by D3. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Legend of Jack Sparrow, made by Bethesda. Um, this is kind of a cool little co-op game if you've ever, if you're looking for a sort of co-op game. This one's actually pretty fun. It's not amazing, but it is a pretty cool little co-op game. 
everybody's tennis. So the Everybody series didn't just uh, stay with golf. They uh, experimented with other sports. Uh, this one probably is pretty fun, I'm guessing. And then we have Outlaw Tennis, much like Everybody's Tennis. More of a, uh, this one's more of an adult-themed one, I guess. Uh, some risque themes and stuff. Perfect Ace, the Championships 2. Again, uh, tennis games can be pretty fun, actually. I don't mind a tennis game every once in a while. They can be pretty fun. Then we have Smash Court Pro um, Tennis Pro Tournament 2. Bit annoyed that um, the um, Smash Court Tennis got rid of the whole um, arcade -y feel that the original Anna Cor uh, Kornikova's um, Smash Court Tennis on PS1 was really good and arcadey, but they went for a more realistic setting with the sequel, which kind of ruined it for me. Let me have Center Court Hard Hitter. Again, tennis themed games there. Let me have Beach Volleyball Summer Heat, made by Acclaim. Even though this uh, has some sort of but, um, Bikini Woman, this game's only rated a 3+, plus, so um, I'm taking it, that's all you get to see. NBA Street, again, the uh, FIFA Street games weren't just limited to um, football games, they uh, experimented with quite a few street-themed sports games. And we have Sean Palmer's Pro Skate um, Snowboarder, Activision um, threw their hat in the bag with multiple um board games i guess you can call them emergency air force a sort of flight simulator there then we have street racing ford street racing a racing game with ford cards by explosive entertainment then we have pool masters again Lots of uh, pool games with uh, sort of challenges and skill modes. Worms 3D. I kind of um, didn't really much care for the 3D version of the Worms games. It was cool that they experimented with 3D, but um, they only really did two games with the 3D Worms Under Fort Forts Under Siege. Because afterwards they went straight back to the 2D or the 2.5D style. But the Worms games are classic, fun little games. Thrillville Off the Rails, a really, really good game by LucasArts. Imagine a combination of like uh, going around building your own rides and stuff. Lots of mini games, talking to people. Really, really good game. I highly recommend the Thrillville series. Kind of annoyed they never made any other ones. Let me have the ATV Off Road Fury games, two and three. I might have the first one somewhere, but these are. It's funny because this one was made by THQ and this one was made by South Peak Games and Sony. So um, I wonder what happened there. Maybe they um, got different licenses and developers. But these games are actually pretty good. Have some cool sort of free roam modes. Then we have Torino's 2006, a Winter Olympics game. Lots of um, Winter Olympic themed sports there. And Salt Lake 2002, made by Idios, and this one was 2K, so yeah, they uh, experimented with their developers again. Uh, International Track and Field, made by Konami. Yeah, Konami um, did do a few sports games, as you know, with the Pro Evolution Software Series. We have Athens 2002. Um... Yeah, these uh, old um, Olympics games can be pretty fun, actually, even though they're most of the time just pressing buttons. But um, it can be pretty fun if you've got someone to play with. You can have a right laugh with them. We have a couple of bowling games. We've got Black Market Bowling and Strike Force Bowling. I like playing bowling in real life. As for uh, bowling games, uh, video games, I don't know. Stick to Wii Sports Bowling, I guess. PDC World Darts Championships 2008. Again, darts, uh, I don't mind playing it in real life, but as for a video game, eh, probably not really my sort of thing, but these games are better on like, the Wii and um, Connect and things. 
Virtua Tennis 2, uh, one of Sega's go-to um, tennis series. Sorry, they're a bit all out of place here. World Snooker Championship 2005, another Sega game. Um, I don't know if they're still they're still doing the snooker championship games. I'm not too sure. Let me have international Q, um, snooker championship and international Q club two uh, Midas title. Internet world championship snooker 2002, a code master game and Q academy snooker pool and billiards. And International Q Club 1. These sort of have like sort of puzzle tables as you can see. Sort of more like uh, uh, experiences. Then we've got a couple of these um, cheat code things. We have here a Play Cheats Action Replay 2. Um, they used to get these with um, um, <coughs> magazines back in the day. And they'd have a bunch of cheat codes and things like that. And you could even play Region 3 DVDs and stuff on them. And the Exploder Light again, these include like thousands of cheat codes and music things on there. They're pretty cool. I don't really collect them, collect them, but if I see them, I'll pick them up and every so often. <coughs> Countryside Bears. Um, these games are notorious um, for just being obscure animations. These are worth watching the animations because they are something else. There's quite a few of them out there. Clever Kids Pony World, another edutainment game for children. I said I collect everything. SSX Tricky, often considered to be the best in the series. Very good arcade game. And SSX on tour. Really good over the top uh, action arcade games. Victorious Boxers, Ippo's Road to Glory. Another boxing game. I think that was originally a Dreamcast game. Bomberman Hardball includes four Bomberman things. Tennis, baseball, golf and the classic Bomberman. Never really been a big fan of Bomberman. Dodgeball. This is actually a pretty fun little arcadey dodgeball game. Uh, kind of reminds me of the old um, Super Dodgeball games like on the Super Nintendo and things. Fight Night 2004, a lot of people are asking for a new Fight Night game. These games were really good boxing games back in the day. And Round 2. And Knockout Kings 2002, Muhammad Ali on the front there. By the looks of it, yep, Muhammad Ali. And Mike Tyson's Heavyweight Boxing, this game is... Um, I don't know why this got a 96, because I played it once and it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> and maybe I just weren't playing it right. Family board games includes a bunch of board games there. Monopoly Party. Surprisingly, uh, playing board games and video games actually are pretty fun. Um, great party games. Um, if you've got people to play them with, give them a go. They're pretty fun. Kelly Addict with Noel Edmonds there. A Kelly themed um, uh, trivia game. Much is the same with Trivial Pursuit. Again, pretty cool um, trivia games. Casino Challenge. I played this one and it is absolutely terrible. And Trivial Pursuit Unhinged, made by Atari. Again, can be a bit of a laugh. At the Races presents Gallop Racer by Zoo Digital Publishing. SSX3. This one's considered to be the best in the series, but um, Tricky is often considered to be a, a favourite. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Absolutely stupendous series. Really, really good series. My favourite is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Played this a lot growing up as a kid. Absolutely amazing series. Um, it's a shame Tony Hawk 5 was terrible, but they redeemed themselves with the remake of the first and second game. Tony Hawk Underground 2. Great games. Uh, Tony Hawk American Wasteland. And Tony Hawk Project 8. 
I remember playing a lot of these growing up. And Tony Hawk Proving Ground. But I don't think I ever played this one. But these are great games. I highly recommend the Tony Hawk series. Then we have Tetris Worlds. Tetris is on everything. Need I say more? Classic. Zoo Puzzle. Sort of a puzzle game there. Ever Blue. I believe this is like a uh, exploration game under the sea. Under the sea. Fahrenheit, also known as Indigo Prophecy. Quantic Dreams. This was one of their first sort of games when they went on to make, you know, a lot of these adventure movie style games. Aqua Aqua 2. Another sort of puzzle game. Kind of looks a bit like um, Rainbow um, Island, I think. Buster Block. An Arkanoid clone. Bratz Diamonds. Again, yeah, remember the Bratz. Super Buster Move 2. Absolutely amazing. I love the Buster Move series. Really fun. Sort of like bubble pop games. And the first one with the notoriously bad front cover. Luminous Plus, this is another puzzle game, often considered to be a really good one. Jetix Puzzle Buzzle. Ego Mania. And the last one is BMX Triple X, another adult themed BMX game. So, yeah, a bit more of a variety here today. Um, some puzzle games, some sports games, some uh, action games, a bit of everything here. Um, I am I'm enjoying making this progress with this series um, Like I said, I'm not entirely sure What's happening come next week. I may or may not be here um, But if I'm not here, I'll take my ps4 down with me and maybe you can do some streams and that while I'm down there um, But there will be a stream tonight I'll be playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order <sighs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, I just wanted to go back and play some games that I started last year but never finished. And I think I'm about maybe about, I'd say about just over halfway done with Star Wars now. Maybe close to 60, 65% in the story. Really enjoying it so far. I'll probably do a review on it when I beat it. I know I'll be late to the, the party with that one. But I don't like to do reviews on games that I haven't beaten. Um, unless it's a game that doesn't need me to beat it. And, you know, might be a micro review, I guess. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed part two. Um, again, if there's anything in this particular series of games um, that I need to play desperately or... Perhaps need some special attention. Of course let me know in the comment below. But if you enjoyed today's video feel free to leave a like. And of course like I said comment below what games um, I should play in this bundle. Are there anything in particular that you like. Or is there anything notoriously bad here that it needs to be played. And of course guys subscribe if you haven't already. And join the family. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Twitch at the Mad Kyger. I will be streaming some Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order tonight. And as always have a nice day. And hopefully I'll be seeing you more in the week. I'll try and get a couple of videos done just in case I do go away again. Um, but if I do, I apologise. Things at the moment are very in and out at the moment. So, but without further ado, I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.